in Paul, so how serious is this fresh outbreak? Well, on a global scale, it doesn't sound very serious at all. Uh, 22 cases in Adelaide. But, of course, uh, the circumstances are very similar to what happened in Victoria earlier in the year, and uh, that got out of control very, very quickly. So this started when a cleaner at a quarantine hotel in Adelaide became infected. Uh, she, in turn, infected two security guards, and within 24 hours, uh, that cluster had grown to 17 people. So this decision was taken to implement a six-day circuit break a lockdown, which began midnight local time. Let's see what the uh, Premier, Steve Marshall, had to say. We are going hard and we are going early. Time is of the essence and we must act swiftly and decisively. We cannot wait to see how bad this becomes. We must act swiftly and decisively on the health advice to stay ahead of the game. So it's a very short lockdown, just six days, but it is tougher than the one that was implemented in Victoria uh, in the middle of the year. Just supermarkets, bottle shops, some medical services and petrol stations are staying open. Uh, Childcare services and schools for essential workers, but weddings and funerals are banned and uh, factories and construction are also being shut down. So, Paul, how will the economic fallout of this compare to what happened in Victoria? It's expected to be somewhat less or perhaps significantly less. So Victoria, of course, accounts for about a third of Australia's GDP, and that lockdown went for well over 100 days. Uh, South Australia, by contrast, just 5% of Australia's GDP, and this lockdown, as I mentioned, just six days long. So, yeah, the lockdown conditions are stricter than Victoria. It's shorter and sharper. The economy's a lot smaller, so uh, that should really minimise the fallout here. Uh, but more concern, uh, some states are uh, closing their borders again to South Australia. So that's another blow for the struggling tourism industry. And it all came as a huge shock to the hospitality industry as well that was not expecting this uh, because South Australia had, uh, up until uh, a week ago, pretty much eliminated community transmission.